guys. Today, I want to talk a little bit about why I think electric unicycles are more dangerous than ever. All right, so for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is George, and this device I'm riding is called an electric unicycle. My channel focuses on electric unicycle content, and I release videos every Monday and Friday. And I gotta say, these electric unicycles are getting a lot more dangerous than they ever were before. And if you're familiar with how these electric unicycles work, you might be thinking to yourself, but George, the batteries are getting bigger, the speed thresholds are getting larger. If anything, these machines are getting more safe. Ah, I disagree. All right, so first let's talk a little bit about the history of electric unicycles, right? They started making these things like seven or eight years ago. It was probably around 2000 and say 13-ish. I'm not exactly sure the date of which was the very first unicycle made, but when they first were created, these were uh, made to be highly portable last mile commuters. Something that you throw in the trunk of your car, you bring with you on the bus, and it gets you to, from you know the bus stop to the office, or the train tracks to the office, or the train to your house, whatever. But there was a major drawback to these tiny little light machines that they were creating. They had tiny battery systems, small, small power supplies. And this meant that these machines were extremely susceptible to what we call a cutout. A cutout is basically when you ask the machine for too much power. It can't hold you up anymore or can't keep going as fast. Now they have safety mechanisms to try to stop you from going too fast, but if you go too fast, too fast, <laughs> as in accelerating quickly or falling, hitting a large bump or off of a, a ledge or something, if you, if you try to take too much power too fast, they're at risk of shutting off. But so naturally, the way that these companies decided to try to alleviate that problem was to go to bigger and bigger battery sizes more batteries, bigger motors, they can hold up more weight, they can bring you faster. Therefore, theoretically, they're much safer. But in recent years, we've really started to push the envelope on those power delivery systems. You know, now we've got unicycles that go 50 miles an hour, they can go for 100 miles of range. And while that's extremely beneficial in the cutout realm, in the worrying about overpowering your machine aspect, it's introduced a lot more problems uh, than I think it has solutions, safety-wise. You know, first of all, everybody wants to ride in the road now, right? You end up going 30 something miles an hour, that's a road wheel. That's not for putting around sidewalks, that's for getting where you gotta go. You know, so that introduces a lot more danger in terms of cars riding around you, having to deal with different traffic obstacles, hitting bumps at high speeds, the speed wobbles. So there's a lot of reasons why traveling at much higher speeds is pretty obviously a lot more dangerous. You know, not to mention, if you do crash, you're more likely to have a bad crash. You know, and having that ability to ride at crazy high speeds in the road really catches a lot of eyes. And that's where I think it's also bringing in a second safety liability in the fact that new riders are way too confident about these machines. You know, if you're new to the electric unicycle hobby, you may have just seen someone zipping around on a Sherman going 50 miles an hour down the street, not a care in the world, just flying along like he's on a motorcycle. But you are probably not gonna buy a Sherman. You're probably gonna buy something much smaller. And if you don't have a core understanding of how the machine works, it can be very dangerous. So let's talk about manufacturers listed top speeds on these electric unicycles. 
because I think they're a lot more deceiving than people understand when they're first getting into the hobby. You know, the way that these manufacturers all measure their top speed is going to be with a 150 pound rider riding on flat ground with zero wind and full battery power. That's a lot of asterisks to put on a top speed. And I think it's because it's really important that you understand that we, you really shouldn't think of it in terms of speed. You should be thinking it in terms of power delivery. You know, the absolute maximum power delivery your unicycle has is 40 some odd, you know, if you're on a Gotway, 40 miles an hour on flat ground with a 150 pound rider, no wind, full charge. So as soon as you start changing some of those variables, you're not gonna have that listed top speed anymore. You know, one thing I see all the time with these electric unicycles, with newer riders, is people riding every machine they get right to the beeps, right to the tilt back, literally pushing the machine as hard as it can 24 seven. That's incredibly dangerous, guys. That is not how these machines are designed to work. You can peek out and touch those speeds. You should not be consistently riding at those speeds. If you need something that's faster than what you're comfortably riding at, you know, if, if you want to ride 35, don't get a 35 mile an hour machine, get a 50 mile an hour machine. If you hit a bump or something at 35 miles an hour, if you start going up a hill, I mean, if you, if you, if it's a windy day, you're not gonna have anywhere near that top speed. You're gonna keep trying to push your machine. This puts you in a very dangerous position. So when you see a top speed listing, think of it as the maximum power rating, not the top speed, okay? Top speeds are something that you do not wanna be pushing. Unless you're in a very controlled environment, you know what you're doing, okay? When you see guys pushing these wheels as hard as they can, they, they know where they are. They're in an area where they're not worried about traffic. You know, they know exactly how many beeps it is before the wheel dies and cuts out. And they're geared up and they're ready to hit the ground because they know they're pushing the wheel way too hard. So if you're new to the hobby, just remember, speed is power, power is speed. So as soon as you start hitting variables that are gonna cost more power, you got less speed. You know, and these are two things that you really need to be concentrated on. As these unicycles get bigger and faster and you ride them in the street more aggressively, as you start pushing your max speeds, just everybody be safe out there. We just don't want to see anybody get hurt, right? You know, and that's why I think these machines are just so much more dangerous than they ever have been before. We're still in an in a, in a area of power delivery that cutouts are very much possible. It's not like you can't cut a wheel out if you tried. And if you don't know how they work, you just might do it. You know, and along with that extra speed, that extra power safety, comes the want to ride in the road, which adds its own dangers. So remember guys, respect the beeps. That's gonna be all for this episode. Be sure to like the video for me, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, all that good jazz. And until next time, ride safe.